Yeah, hi guys, Lockie here from Undercover Cars, bringing you another walk around video today of our latest arrival into stock. Really nice little car, this one, beautiful example. Um, it's a 1974 Triumph Stag. So, quite interesting little cars, these cars. I'll do a bit of walk around, show you some of the details, and talk a little bit about them. They released in uh, 1970, these cars, and I think they ran for about seven years before they finished production. But this is a 74 model, this particular car. Nice little cars to drive. You'll see the chrome works good on the car. It does have little spotlights there in behind the grille, which is pretty cool. These are a sports car. Um, they were sold as a 2 plus 2 sports car, so you could fit four people in them. And a convertible, so quite interesting in the way they work. You'll see it looks like a hard top coupe, but the top is removable on the car. Paintwork on the car is very good. Walk around, you'll see the paintwork. It has been professionally repainted. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago, but the paintwork looks very, very nice, very presentable. I'd say if you went to a stag sort of club and put 10 of these in a line, this would be in the top two or three cars, um, as far as the examples that I've seen. you notice in behind here, little side markers, 14 inch wheels, they're the standard wheels on this car. It does have servo assisted disc brakes on the front. Power windows as well inside, we'll have a look in here. As I said, this is a removable hardtop, so it unbolts and comes off the car. Interior trim is very nice. You'll see the details around here. It's been painted properly, this car. Details around here are very good. Nice little triumph on the kick plate here. Good plate. So, inside, wood grain dash. Wood grain's nice on it. There are a couple minor little cracks in the dash if you look really closely. Pretty common in a car of this age. Um, not a difficult thing to repair if you wanted to do so, but very acceptable. You'll see it is an automatic here. Automatic trans. Power windows here. So nice little luxuries inside. Carpets are good. Headlining is good. Now when the top comes off, it leaves this bar. So the frame's still around the windows bar, but it is a convertible when the top comes off. The seats here are covered in sheepskins, which are in good condition. Um, I believe the trim underneath is nice, not perfect, but pretty good. Um, you know, might need some minor stuff here and there, but the sheepskins are nice on it anyway. In the back trim is very good. So like I say, seat belts all around. It is a two plus two car, so you can fit some small adults, I guess, or children in the back. Um, you're not gonna get in there if you're over six foot. A little bit of damage to the trim here on the top. The car does come with a brand new set of trims, one for this side and one for the other side, so someone can fit them if they buy the car. They come with it. Top's very nice. The car does have a soft top too. The soft top's in good nick. It's um, not perfect. It is a little bit stretched and wrinkly in places, although there's no tears, I believe, in it or rips. So it will keep you dry, but uh, obviously it looks better with the hard top on it. Again, standard wheels on the back. See the stag thing here. Paint works nice, it's a nice straight car. Chrome works good across the back. It's got this little black panel where the tail lights are. The exhaust sounds good. We get underneath. It's tidy underneath. All the this car was owned by a mechanic before we bought the car. So the rear drive shafts have been replaced, a whole bunch of things. There's some good upgrades that I'll show you when we get under the bonnet. But nice solid car. Has been fitted with a, a tow bar here. Some stage to tow a small trailer. If someone wanted to do that, they certainly could. I don't think you're going to be towing a caravan or a bar, big boat or anything with it, but um, if you had a small trailer, you could certainly get that around. Inside the boot, again, nice, all nice up under here. Nicely carpeted down in here. It's a tongue here for the tow bar. We'll keep walking around. <laughs> Nicely presented here, little chrome fuel cap. Paint's very good. We'll open inside this door, you see this trim's good on the car, although it does have both trims new with it. Glass is good. In around the doors is nice. Got the original style steering wheel on it. Gauges are good. Odometer's reading just over 36,000 miles, although you'd never know in a car of this age whether that's uh, correct or not. 
they only have five digit odometers, so we never put our hands on our hearts and say that's correct. But I mean, looking at the car, could well be. This is a very nice example. Cool little British sports car someone wants. You know, to have a little V8 convertible, four seater, you know, fit the family in it. Pretty cool thing. Especially at this price point. You know, these things are under 30 grand. This one's well under 30. Um, and certainly a very, very nice car for that money. We open up the bonnet. So under here you'll see the 3 litre V8 that these cars came with, nicely presented, like I say a mechanic owned this car, it's very well sorted, drives nicely, beautiful on the road. One of the things that these cars did have from the factory was they had a bit of a design fault and unfortunately it gave them a little bit of a bad reputation in some areas because they were known for doing head gaskets these cars and one of the problems was that the overflow bottle for the coolant sat lower in the engine bay than where the water pump was. And when the car would get hot in traffic at times, the, the, all the coolant would come out of the coolant reservoir. So it would, it would back pressure back through the coolant reservoir. And then when the car cooled down, there wasn't enough water to get to the water pump and it would cook the engine. So that was one of the design issues in these cars. And this one's been really cleverly solved if you have a look. It has got this aftermarket coolant bottle in it, um, sitting up higher in the engine bay than where the standard one would be. So it does resolve that issue um, obviously a lot big um, catchment as well in there so it takes away that design flaw which these cars had from the factory really smart um, solution to the problem you'll see it is an Australian manufactured car very nice even in the engine bay got the original insulation under the hood certainly a car you'd be happy to take to a you know all British show day or something like that and uh, show off just put this back down guys And that's it guys, little stag, lovely presented little car, jump onto our website and check it out www.undercovercars.com.au If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, you'll get to see all these walk around videos as they come in first. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one, bye.